What's up YouTube, back here again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at a FPV mini transmitter that I have instantly fallen in love with. I think it is an awesome little um, video transmitter, okay, that uh, Isheen has made here. Okay, you can see this is the Isheen VTX03 FPV mini transmitter. Um, let's be, let's just go through it real quick. This is a 200 milliwatt. Here's the back of the box, really nothing on there. This is a 200 milliwatt FPV transmitter, okay? Let's open this box up, take a look what we get. Now, so you get your little instructions here. All right, good look at that. Your power, in, you know, your what you need for your power. So this is a switchable, 25, 50, 200 watt adjustable, all right? You got the input voltage of 3.2 to 5.5 volts, five volt camera supply out. So you just put your pa uh, power into um, into the transmitter and then you can run your camera right to that. I'll show you that in a second. All right, you get uh, 40, what's it, a 48 channel, A, B, E, F. You get all the good channels, right? They're all on there, 48 channel. So there you go. I got this off banggood.com. Uh, I believe it's like, what did I get it for? $12.99 or something like that. You know, the prices change on there all the time. Uh, link, It'll be linked down below. But here we go, let's bust this guy out. So you can see right here, we got a uh, removable dipole right on the top. All right, now I like these, you, you know, you're gonna use this thing for your micros, right? For your 130s and lower. In my opinion, I mean, you can use it on a bigger one, but you know, you're gonna want, if you have a bigger quad, you're gonna want a bigger antenna. Um, but uh, but yeah, so you got your sleeve dipole antenna here on the top. You got your little um, LED screen, your indicator screen here. You got your switchable button here, and then your outputs. So you got your input power, right? This will go to your five volt power supply on your flight controller or your PDB, right? And then this is going to go to your camera. So your camera is going to, you know, if you have one of those Isheen cameras or something, you might be able to plug this right in or you might have to solder it, whatever, but this is your camera, positive, neutral, and your video, uh, your video wire here. So real nice little setup. You got everything right in, in here all in one. Um, I'll take you over and I'll show you where I got one installed. So this is, okay, this is the King Kong 90GT. All right, let me just power up my transmitter here so we can turn this on. Do, 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 do. Pick the right model. All right, here we go. So here it is. I got it wired up here on the King Kong 90GT. See, I got the, there's the dipole antenna right here. I got it kind of glued or, you know, sticky taped right to the top. Um, so all I did was run my power from the uh, five volt supply on the bottom of the uh, PDB down here. That's ran in right here. I, I desoldered, I desoldered all this stuff off. I didn't use any of this, right? I desoldered this off, these the, the factory wires, and I ran... I already had a power lead coming for the old VTX that was on here. So I soldered this on right here. All right. And then I took the camera leads off. And then I, from the camera, all right, this is a different camera, but it'll be the same if you have the stock camera. You take your power, ground, and your video feed and just match them up on the same spot. So this comes right from the camera, resoldered right onto here. Boom. That simple, that easy. I mean, it was stupid simple, stupid easy, stupid quick. So. Let's power this up. So, I mean, it's it's just a basic VTX. I mean, you can pretty much use this in any way, any how you want to use it. Um, you know, the options are endless. Just, you know, glue it on there, get your antenna up, get your camera connected, and you're good to go. So, you can see here flashing. It's going to flash your um, band, your channel number, and then those lines indicate what power um, setting you're on here. Let's see, I might need a little something to push on this. So, a short press of the switch. You got the switch in the back. Uh, short press is going to change your channel. 
all right? You're gonna long press it, and then when the letter starts flashing, that'll change your bands. All right, there we go, on race band. All right, let that set in. Now we can push it again. Now race band two. And then if you push and hold it until the three little lights start flashing, now you can change from no output, uh, 25 milliwatt, 50 milliwatt, and when I leave it on, 200 milliwatt. Now I get pretty decent reception from this guy, all right? I, I got nothing to complain from. Um, it, it's good. It's equally as good as, you know, there was a 25 milliwatt system on here before, and, you know, it was okay. Um, you know, it's, it's 25 milliwatt system, right? And that was only a 16 channel system. So I got this on here, it's a 48 channel now. It's actually a little lighter. This whole setup is a little lighter than the uh, factory one that's on this quad. So, you know, take that into account. It's super tiny, it's super light. I mean, there's nothing to it. I mean, this thing is super, super light. So that's it, Isheen VTX03. Um, 25, 50, 200 milliwatt switchable. 48 channel uh, VTX. And that's all I got. It's a good little product. Check it out. Link will be in the description. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one.